Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? A custom built, ported and polished, 4.0 stroked to four and a half liters. This 2001 Cherokee behind me is super clean. We rarely get to see them in the shop this clean and we're excited to work on this one. This thing is even more unique because it's a 60th anniversary. I don't remember the exact number of 60th anniversary models that were produced, but I think it was like 1500 or 2000 or something like that. Anyway, not a whole lot. The owner of this Jeep absolutely loves it, but he brought it to us with one major problem. Listen to that engine run. There's definitely something about ready to explode inside there. Holy cow. So, he's got plans for us to put an awesome 505 custom built spec uh, all performance four liter in this thing. We, the engine just came, but we're gonna get it on the um, engine stand and get it all dressed out with water pump, everything. But this thing is gonna be some putting out some serious power. I'm thinking close to 300 horsepower, which is pretty awesome considering these things came with like roughly 190. So we're gonna walk you through the whole process and see what it's like to do a heart transplant in this awesome XJ Cherokee. We've encountered a problem. As you can see, we had this engine all together. We were filling it with fluids and just getting ready to start it when we noticed that there was antifreeze leaking all over the floor. We hadn't even started the engine and there was coolant dripping everywhere. We double traced all the hoses and what we found, you'll be surprised. Check it out. This is the head that was shipped on the original engine from 505 Performance. And you can see it's cracked. And coolant was leaking out of this crack. We're not exactly sure how the crack happened. It could have been that it was hit by a forklift during shipping. It could have been just a fluky poor casting or maybe it got damaged when that freeze out plug uh, was installed. It's hard to say. Uh, 505 was real good and they sent us a new replacement head, but we're gonna be doing the labor to put it on. And as you can see right now, we've got the old head out and the new head ready to go back on. We've got the exhaust manifold, intake manifold, throttle body, fuel rail, everything installed. The last thing we're gonna install is the roller rockers uh, right behind us here. Once we get the head on, uh, there's a special torque to those, as well as the head bolts. So, 
hopefully, once we get the new head on, filled with fluid, we can get this thing fired and running because the customer is anxious to get it back and we're anxious to drive it too. This thing should be a ton of fun with all the extra power that's put in it. So we've got the engine in, the heart transplant is all done, and we're driving this thing up the road for a final quality check to see how it runs and what our thoughts are. So as a recap, we installed this high performance four liter from 505 Performance, and you can definitely feel the pep. It's definitely a worthwhile uh, endeavor to install the engine. Of course, while we did this, we also re-geared the differentials to a 411 ratio. So that definitely helps put more power to the ground to offset the larger tire diameter. I think everything went surprisingly, um, frankly, a little bit difficult. Uh, you know, we talked about that head having been cracked and had some issues to work around there. But all in all, I like the end product which is that we've got a Jeep. The owner's coming tonight to pick it up and I'm excited to show it to him. And uh, I know I talked to him yesterday, he's excited to pick it up and drive it. The Jeep's driving awesome right now. Uh, we're watching all of our gauges. Oil pressure is, I don't know, probably 50 PSI, which is awesome there. Our engine temp looks really good and we're tacking great. No issues, no check engine lights. Everything's looking really good. So let us know what you think about this video in our comments section below. Remember to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for all the coolest content that we put out regularly. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.